Hello all my Virgo friends and those of you who are in the Twin Flame journey. Today I am bringing you your Twin Flame reading for January 2018. I apologize for the delay as I am still battling a illness that seems to be taking a lot out of me. So I do apologize for that. Um... Sometimes my voice goes in and out as well, so I do apologize. Um, I hope you guys can hear me okay. So with that, let's get started. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgos who are in the twin of the journey. Um, I am going to first pull a card from my Romance Angels deck to kind of get an overview of the... Um, reading and where we're going to start off at, what part of the journey we are starting with. So Spirit and Angels, Archangel Gabriel, can you please give me a card to give an overview of where Virgos are at in their Twin Flame journey for January 2018 and beyond. Oh, <laughs> way too many. Out. Okay. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, for a group of you, that could be an ex that you have to let go of. That could be your twin flame. We will know more once we get undergo here in the reading. So I'm going to pull five cards for the Divine Feminine and five cards for the Divine Masculine. And then um, the first four cards represent the weeks of January. And then the fifth card is the Marrying Energy. At the end, I will then um, pull a card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms um, Oracle deck by Colette Baron Reed to see um, what energy of each person is. And then I will pull a Chakra Oracle card for what we need to be meditating on for this week. So with that, we'll be getting started. I have the... Um, Gilded Tarot deck for the first five cards. So, Spirit and Angels, what messages or what cards represent the Divine Feminine in the month of January 2008 for our Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, <coughs> Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus? Please give me five cards for the Divine Feminine. First four cards are the four weeks. So, one is the fifth one is the overall marrying energy of the month for the Divine Feminine. So the first card out was the Ace of Swords in reverse. The second card out was the Hanging Man. The third card out is the Tower. And the fourth card out is the Ace of Wands in reverse. And uh, I did get six cards here, so we are, we'll take both of them for the marrying energy of the month. And that's the High Priestess in reverse and the Nine of Wands. Spirit and Angels, can I get five cards now for the Divine Masculine, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? The first card out is the Five of Swords. The uh, second card out is the Four of Wands in reverse. I get three more cards for the Divine Masculine for the month of January 2018. Okay. Okay, that's way too many. Oops, one flipped over here. 
We got the Page of Wands in reverse, the Six of Cups, and the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Wands as our last two. We will keep them both. The Spirit says that's what to do. The bottom of a deck is the Ten of Pentacles. So the overall energy is that both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine are wanting the the happy life, the perfect job, the happy kids, happy family. Um, it's just the course we have to take to get there. So I think I'm going to use the master deck today. Get all these other decks off of here. Okay. I'm just going to shuffle these a couple seconds here while I get my messages from Spirit on the cards on the table. So the first week, um, the, the Divine Feminine is really confused about um, what has been going on between her and her masculine. Um, she's kind of thinking, what's the holdup? Um, she's ready to make a fresh start. She's ready to get, you know, their uh, their relationship moving. And for some reason, the divine masculine is holding back. Lots of swords on the ground here um, with the both the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So lots of thoughts going through their head. Um, the bottom of the deck of the clarify or bottom, yeah, bottom of the deck on the clarifying deck is the seven of wands. So um, they're both feeling like they have to put quite put up a fight to get this connection to work. Um, I am getting all the the cards out on the table before I start channeling. So I am going to pull a card for each Divine Feminine and Masculine from the Helpers of the Hidden Realm um, Oracle deck for oops, their position in each one. So Spirit and Angels and Helpers of the Hidden Realm. Can I get one card for the Divine Feminine and one card for the Divine Masculine as far as their, um, their position in the twin flame journey. Okay. Okay. So if you just give me a second, I will channel messages from spirit and we will get started. So this is for the uh, group of the twin flames who are in separation right now. Um, reconciliation will be coming as um, as unions start to be um, coming together. The first week of January, the Divine Feminine, like I said, it's um, she's confused. She's not understanding why they can't get this um, this relationship off the ground. She has cleared out all her karmic um, ties, cords. And, uh, and it's just, she, she has done all the work that she needs to do to be ready herself. And she is questioning why it's taking the divine masculine so long. The divine masculine in the first week of January has the five of swords. And that's kind of the, uh, to me, the five of swords is, the um not a fair fight like I won but I didn't but nobody wins kind of thing and it's being clarified by the moon so the divine masculine may have some things that he's trying to keep hidden from the divine feminine um he may still have um, a partner that he has not released yet um he may be telling that partner one thing and his divine feminine another and that, those are going to be coming out soon. But that is what is causing the Divine Feminine so much confusion. Because if it is what you say it is, then why why are we not starting? Why are we not moving forward? 
In the second week of January, the Divine Feminine has the Hanging Man. And she's really going to take some time to think about this, this relationship because she feels like she was tossed aside. She feels like I put you in front of everybody and... And I feel like you've given me the opposite. You've left me out in the cold. And for what? You told me it was going to be this way. And I believed you. And I believed every word you said. And now I'm still out in the cold. So why? So she's really going to take a step back away from the connection. And she's considering walking away. In the second week of January... The um, Divine Masculine here is trying to figure out how he's going to get out of a marriage. For this group of you, you have your Divine Masculine or the Divine Masculine, you're the Virgo. Um, you're still in a marriage that is not emotionally fulfilling, um, spiritually fulfilling, um, is unhappy. You, um, you aren't looking for this connection when you found it, but... Um, you found it anyways, and now that you have had um, the taste of the the twin flame uh, connection, you realize that you you are not going to find this with anybody else. You are not going to find this type of connection. Nobody you ever come across is ever going to emotionally fulfill you the way your divine feminine does, and so you are trying to figure out what your next step is going to be. In the third week of January, the Divine Feminine, you are going to experience a shakeup in your life. Um, you are going to have a tower come crashing down. Um, and this has to do with um, a younger, immature energy that's going to bring you some truth about your Divine Masculine. And it's really going to cause you um, some sort of breakdown, some sort of shakeup. You didn't see it coming. You knew there was something that wasn't right, but you didn't know what. And somebody's going to come in and offer that to you. And uh, it's it's going to really um, kind of break you down, break you down to a point where you've never experienced before. And the in the third week for the Divine Masculine. You have the Page of Wands, so um, and it's being clarified by the Five of Swords again. So you're you're really kind of fighting dirty. Um, I get that you're trying to walk away from something, but you're stalling. You're um, you're not telling that karmic partner what needs to be said because you're worried about the backlash. You're worried about losing something. Um, but Spirit is encouraging you to just lay your swords down and walk away. Like these people have in the background. Because nothing is worth losing this um, connection. Even though you're not technically going to lose it. It'll always be there. But you need to step up and start being honest with your communication. In the fourth week of January, um, your passion is kind of burnout, Divine Feminine. And a lot of it has to do with this tower, this shakeup, what you found out. Because now that you have the truth, now that you have clarity, you're unsure if you want a new start with this person. Um, it really has, it really kind of put your fire out. It, um... Yeah, you just don't know if you want to be the one that lays your swords down and walks away because you're just, you feel devastated. In the fourth week of the Divine Masculine, um, you have these Six of Cups. So this can be centered around children um, or something from your past, but it's that nostalgia card that that feeling of memories, good memories. Um, Spirit is saying, 
to make sure you remember it the way it actually was because your intuition is off. Um, you may be having memories of the way things used to be and you're not looking at the whole picture because you're remembering only the good times, but remember what brought you to this point is what Spirit is saying. It also could have to do with children that you currently have, that your karmic partner may be trying to use your children to keep you there, but um, this relationship is spiritually guided. You are not going to lose your children. They are using them as a pawn. The overall energy of the Divine Feminine in the month of January is also the High Priestess in reverse and the Nine of Wands. So you are thinking to yourself, if this is divinely guided, if this is meant to be, if this is spiritually driven, then why am I having to fight so hard? I shouldn't have to fight so hard for love, especially if it's sent here by, by spirit. And you're really just questioning all the, all the belief systems that you've ever had uh, surrounding love, marriage, relationships, because why, why am I having to fight so hard? And I'm the only one fighting is what I hear. So you're starting to lose faith, divine and feminine, and spirit is encouraging you to don't lose the faith. Um, you signed up for this. This is what your spiritual journey, your path. Um, you knew when you came here it wasn't going to be easy. Um, but you came here for a reason. And you came here to, um, to spiritually guide people. So um, Spirit is just requesting that you meditate and you ask for strength and wisdom and uh just to really keep the faith. It's really important. The Divine Masculine has the Four of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Wands. So he's going to start um, communicating to you why he's feeling this way. Um, he's really scared at this point. And he's scared he's going to end up alone. He's worried that if he leaves his karmic partner, who is fighting so hard for him right now to stay, and he goes to you, He's worried that in the end he's going to end up all alone because he doesn't know if he has what it takes to keep your interest. He is worried he's not enough for you. Um, he is worried that what he's done to you up to this point is going to cause you to want to move on alone. And so right now he's not moving nowhere. Once again, especially being an earth sign, um, this divine masculine if he's the Virgo in this, he's not going nowhere. Um, he's kind of feeling stuck. But he is going to start opening up communication about this. Spirit Angels, do you have any other messages that you want the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Divine Feminine, or Divine Masculine to know in the month of January 2018? Okay, so you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles that fell out. Heavy earth sign. Um, so this is for you, Virgo, whichever one you are, the Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine. Spirit is um, Spirit is saying to you that it is time to put in the work. Um, your Divine counterpart, whichever one um, that you are dealing, whichever one you are that you are dealing with, um, for for this certain message, I'm getting that the Virgo is the divine masculine. Um, he, Spirit is saying it's time to put your head down and get to work. You've kind of been floating through this um, this whole journey thus far, um, kind of just leaving it up to the universe without really putting any any real work in. And now they're saying um, the universe has brought you to this point. It's time for you to get your head down and start working because the divine feminine is not going to wait forever. Um, it's been a really slow go and you've really put them through a lot. Any other messages spirit for these? The king of cups um, in reverse 
you know, Virgos, whichever side you're on, feminine or masculine, you know that your cup has not is not full where you're at right now. You know that it lacks the emotion. Um, and you've just kind of been numb through this whole thing. It's time for you to take a step back and uh, from everybody. Just take a step back. Take a breather. Um, let your body, your mind, your soul, let it rejuvenate. Let it recoup. And so you can get to the right frame of mind that you need to be in to make these big decisions. Because right now you're not you're not moving nowhere. And you seem very confused by all your options. But the universe is going to step in shortly. And they're going to eliminate those options. And um, make it very clear to you where you need to be. And you don't want your divine counterpart to not be there by the time you get ready. Seven of Pentacles, because they've already put in a lot of work and they're getting tired and they have the, the, hang the tower up here. So somebody, something is coming in that's going to really um, make them question if they even want to do this anymore. Oops, way too many spirit. Any other messages spirit that you want Virgos to know for the month of January 2018? Okay, so um, you have the death card here. So um, you need to go through this transformation. You need to let old karmic partners go. Um, you need to let old thought processes, old um, just anything from your past that no longer serves you, old friends, old relationships, old fa or, you know family, whatever does not... Um, serve your greatest good who does not support you and support what your decisions are then they're not meant to be in your life and it's time to let them go and you're going to go through a, a time period where you're going to mourn the loss of these people but in the end if they're not supportive of you then they weren't meant to be in your life in the first place because you're crying over what you're losing but in the back, behind you, you have two very full cups that are going to emotionally fulfill you far greater than you could ever know. Because this is divinely guided. I see that one of you is very spiritually um, connected. They could be psychic, a medium. Um, but you both, if this is not you, it's your partner. But you both are connected spiritually. And you are here to do a, a job on behalf of spirit like you are here to do something in the spiritual realm in healing people so um spirit is just waiting for the two of you to come together so you can start your soul's purpose um you also have a devil card that flew out so um it's time to let whatever it is that has a hold of you go whether that be an addiction, whether that be a person, whether that be um, temptation, um, whatever it is, it's time to let this part of your life go so that we can move forward in a way that serves spirit because that's what you're here for. And that was for um, a group of you that spirit really wanted you to hear that message. Um, it's time. It's time for you to do what you two came here to do. It's time for you to come into union and your divine feminine is ready, Virgo. Your divine feminine is ready and wanting to, um, wanting to start this, this journey with you and you're holding back. You're holding on to old ways, old addictions, um, and, it's time to let that go. Divine Feminine, the Dream Walker, dreams, collective good, and illusions. So you are very spiritually connected already. You, um, you see the future for what it is, and you know that beautiful things are coming. Um, you try to meet your twin in astral um, ways. You 
you pray to meet in your dream state. Um, you are very spiritually connected. I am seeing that um, for the group of you that I'm reading for, you are in the spiritual practice. Um, if you are not channeling, you are a medium, like a psychic medium. Um, you channel messages. Um, I would be very surprised if you are not doing this as a living. Um, as far as the divine masculine, you have the dragon's duel, which is inner conflict, um, uh, conscious choice. So you are having an internal battle within yourself. You don't know which person to choose. You think you're in love with both people, this being a karmic partner that you are currently tied to, and your twin flame. So you are fighting an internal conflict of what to do and who to choose. And you're having a hard time letting either one of them go. And um, But Spirit is saying it's time to reconcile with your twin. It's time to do what you have come here to do, what you were sent here to do what you signed up to do. Um, and Spirit is saying, it's going to be okay. Do not fear for anything that is spiritually guided. It will not steer you the wrong way. That as long as God is for us, nobody or nothing can be against us. So um, choose, choose the spiritually guided path. And you can't go wrong. I am going to draw a couple cards from the um, Tarot Deck of Sexual Magic. Just to um, to get the um, sexual energy from both sides. I'll draw one for the female. One for the male energies. Spirit and Angels, can I get one card for each energy on the spiritual connection? Oops. Okay, so, okay, we had more than one fly out, so all these that are up flipped out. Oh my god, they're all major arcana. Okay, so we have on the, um, on the masculine side, we have the world, the hierophant, and the empress. On the feminine side, we have the hermit, temperance, and the eight of cups. So holy smokes, six, five out of the six cards are major arcana and the bottom card is a major arcana as well. So we have the emperor and the empress, the emperor being the bottom of the deck and the empress. So he feels that this twin flame is his, um, he is the one, she is the one that is meant to sit next to him on the throne to rule their kingdom. He finds her very sexually alluring um, they have a connection that he's never had with somebody before. He does see this as somebody he wants to spend the rest of his life with. He is just um, currently married, I see, um, and is having a hard time letting go of this person as well. Um, be careful. I do see him sleeping with both the twin flame and the spouse, um, but it's time to let um, let one go and let this part of your life close out so that you can start the next chapter for the divine feminine. Um, she knows that there's a spouse involved and she's just quietly waiting. Um, she's feeling hurt. This is her over here. Um, she's feeling hurt. She feels like, um, maybe this isn't for her. Um, if he can't let go of the spouse, then what, what are we, what am I waiting for? Um, but he, he still sits waiting there because he knows of the connection. Um, temperance could be dealing with a Sagittarius Virgo. Um, and she also knows that when you two are together, your souls intertwine as one. And so she will continue to keep on waiting because she's very spiritually guided. Um, she knows, or she's hoping that one day you'll wake up and realize that she's still there waiting. And with the Eight of Cups, I do see that you two will move into union together. Um, 
just because of the simple fact that you guys complete each other mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, just every aspect of any part of your life you guys fulfill. It's just the divine masculine right now is fearful of the future. He's scared. He's scared to leave one and go to the other in case the other don't work out. He's afraid of being alone. He's afraid of what he'll lose um, with moving on. Um, and that's, I think, a big part of that is because the Divine Feminine is sitting here waiting. She knows that he's sleeping with his spouse. He knows She knows that the spouse thinks that there's nothing wrong. If that um, divine feminine would walk away 100% completely, I do feel that the divine masculine would make a choice a lot quicker, but that's a lot easier said than done um, because she's, oops, she's worried if she walks away that the divine masculine will forget about her and move on. And that's not the case. That is never going to be the case because you can never forget. Once that twin flame has made that initial connection, they will never forget about the other. So unfortunately this week, I do not see, um, for at least this group of people in the journey, I do not see um, unions coming together, but I do see one or the other coming back. You guys are going to start talking again. I did have the communication card in the, in the last um, row of the Divine Masculine. So he is going to re reach out communication-wise and offer some truth and divine feminine um be aware that you will have someone else coming in and also offering truths about the situation that might bring that tower down so um just be cautious and be ready for um information and truths coming in about your twin flame but just stay strong um for that group of you you are spiritually guided um you are working within the, um, like as a spiritual medium or along those lines. So, um, you know, just keep the faith and, uh, and know that it's going to be okay. It's going to work out. Um, hopefully the month of January, um, the divine masculine will get parts of himself figured out. And that's what I see him working on this month. So um, I want to thank you all for watching my video. I hope this helps you. And um, I hope you join me again next month. I'm sending all love and light. And good luck in the twin flame journey.